Hello everyone, this is Valerie and welcome back to Art à la carte. In this episode I'm going to be drawing uh, one of the cats from the books Warrior Cats. I did a video previously on this on how to draw Warrior Cats and I said if I got 5,000 views that I would do a montage of a whole bunch of different cats and had you guys list them out. And so I took some of the most popular ones and I began to research them um, because when I did my previous one on how to draw, I think it was Firestar, um, fire heart. I can't remember which one. Anyway, uh, I, I got a few details wrong. I made him long haired instead of short haired and um, and I realized that you guys who are fans of these books um, really want to see an accurate portrayal as all fans of anything do and um, that there are a lot of little tiny details to each of these cats and as I was researching it it was just taking a ton of time because I haven't read the books. I've read the first book but I haven't read the other books yet um, and so I thought, yeah, I'm just so nervous about messing up the characters. So I thought I would choose just one, the most popularly requested one, and do my portrayal of that cat. So in this episode, or in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I drew Scourge. Um, and the reason I only chose one is because then I can really focus and do some good research and try to get as much detail as possible. And I was actually really surprised that so many people requested Scourge um, to to be drawn because um, from my understanding he was a villain cat. Um, there might be a few spoilers in this video if you haven't read the books yet so just to let you know if you don't want to hear the spoilers just pause the video and, and then or not pause it but mute the video and then you can just watch it without me yammering and spoiling and things like that but not too bad of spoilers. Uh, anyway uh, you know I just kind of figured the things I had a couple, couple things I'd seen about him just seemed like he was very wicked evil cat and I thought oh, there's got to be more to this character because so many of you guys are requesting him. So I decided to do a little bit more research and I found out he's got a really horrible backstory, tragic backstory and and that plays really into his character and again I haven't read the books so I don't know everything it's just the little you know bits I found online and talking to a few of you guys about the character. Um, so yeah I can see kind of the draw with this character um, and you know why he became the way he is and not that all of his choices were good choices but you know he's a cat so <laughs> so I tried to decide what kind of design I wanted to go with if I wanted to go with a really cartoon design or illustrated design or a realistic design so I decided to stick with more of an illustrated look as if I was going to illustrate the books this would be kind of a drawing that would kind of gear me up to illustrate the book not it would not be a finished piece but more of a character design piece that would help me to understand the character so I looked at several different pictures of cats and I kind of picked one that was, you know, kind of tiny in frame and slender and sleek, but just still had maybe a little bit of a menacing pose to it um, and, and used that for his initial sketch. Um, it did throw me off having to give him the larger claws. Um, when most cats are walking, their claws retract, but Scourge, of course, I guess can't retract his claws because they're not his claws. Correct me if I'm wrong their dog teeth is what I read. I don't know. And then his collar, for a long time I thought it was red, but then I read several different people's comments on other things, other videos, saying that his collar was actually purple, and then because he'd been in so many fights, it had been stained red with the blood of his victims. So I wanted to put in the color kind of purple and then add a little red to spread over top of that. Um, I really enjoyed doing his eyes. He has these really light blue eyes that are kind of ghostly. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a fun character to do. Um, at the end, I decided to go with a little more macabre and do a splattering of red speckling through there. <laughs> Just to kind of add a little ambiance to the to the drawing there. But yeah, he was, he was a fun character. I usually don't do a lot of dark characters. Um, so it was kind of fun to do a villainous character and all that. So yeah, hopefully this is kind of what you guys were looking for in a uh, Warrior Cats drawing video. It's not really a how to draw him exactly. It's more of a, you know, I was wanting to go with a montage where I just drew a whole bunch of different cats, but decided just to stick with the one. Um, if you want to learn how to draw cats, I have several videos on how to draw cats. And then of course you can just take the details and, and um, then you can put all the details of that specific cat character to that cat drawing. So what I want to ask you guys is to help me out. I would like to do more of these videos, but I don't have time to read the books. And even when I did read the book, I got it wrong. <laughs> so 
If there's a character that you would like to see, this is what I need you to do. I need you to comment down below and write the name of the character. And then with that comment of that character, list as many details as possible. Long hair, short hair, color of coat, markings, color of eyes, slender build, thick build, short, tall, long tail, skinny tail, no tail. Is there any scars? Is it missing an ear? If so, which one? Uh, Give me some good ideas, you know, left and right, you know, what markings are on either side. And then it's, it's personality. Is it kind of, is it a, a fighter cat? Is it a warrior cat? Is it a more timid cat? Is it shy? Is it motherly? Um, give me some personality traits. Um, as an artist, you want to take all of those kind of verbal clues and try to put them together. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Challenge you guys to give me the best verbal clues possible to these different cats. And then um, I'll try to pick one and see if taking those clues, if I can create a cat that matches the character of the books. So um, pick one comment for each cat. So if you want me to do several different cats, you can comment several different cats but have one cat for each comment so that I can just focus on that comment for that cat and then I'll kind of choose the most popular ones and see about doing some more videos on this in the future so if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button or let me know in the comment section below also if you're not a subscriber make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and also make sure to check out some of the other videos um, I do tutorials three times a week and so if you're learning wanting to learn how to draw um, check those out so that you can join us thanks guys for hanging out with me as I drew Scourge and hope you liked him and uh, until next time God bless you guys and we'll see you later bye bye <laughs>